I want to say about some mass metal gates uh, so created with non homonomic systems. Okay, uh, let us uh, start with the standard definitions. Uh, with a mathematical point of view, any di dynamical system consists of uh, phase space, some local color, coordinates, and equations of motion. Instead of equations of uh, motion, we want to consider some vector field which uh, define the uh, evolution of any uh, Uh, but uh, this symmetrical uh, structure is very poor and we have to add some uh, additional mass uh, physical principles in order to get more rich structure. Okay, uh, usually in Hamiltonian near mechanics we uh, say that we have some special uh, functional energy which uh, defines almost all uh, and we can extract all information about our dynamical system uh, from this uh, function. But in order to get uh, the vector fields from this uh, Function. We have to take the derivatives and then uh, multiply this vector on some matrix or B vector P. Uh, if we add some additional uh, physical assumptions, we can see that this uh, matrix has to be uh, has to be uh, skew symmetric and satisfied to the Jacobi uh, condition. With a uh, physical point of view, this uh, 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 compatibility means that we can add a potential field to the free motion. H1 is a uh, Hamiltonian for the free motion, H2 for the potential. And uh, there's two uh, Evolutions has, uh, <laughs> have to be uh, compact. And uh, here uh, people usually f forget about this matrix because in fact we can extract all the properties of this vector uh, directly from the Hamiltonian according to the, this uh, energy but of course with mathematical point of view it is not so so easy and we have special uh, Morse theory, Gromov theory and uh, Floyd theory in order to extract all uh, features of the our uh, symplectic or uh, Poisson director directly from the functions on our phase space. Uh, the second step when we uh, try to consider non-Hamiltonian uh, vector fields, we can uh, multiply our uh, derivative of the energy on some B vector and on some uh, function. In this case we get so-called Uh, conformally Hamiltonian system, which of course may be uh, reduced to the Hamiltonian system by using the simple change of the time. Uh, such non holonomic system as uh, Chaplegin ball, the Silova system, and many other may be uh, considered in in this theory. However, uh, there are some simple uh, non-holonomic non uh, systems. For this, we have to extend uh, this theory, and for this, our 
это же, это же принцип doesn't work for instance the uh, route sphere which was uh, considered here uh, by Peter Lynch uh, uh, does not uh, cannot be uh, considered in this picture. Okay, in generic case we have to use more uh, complicated uh, uh, more complicated functions uh, which may be associated with the, uh, all the known intervals of motion, not only with energy but for the uh, route uh, sphere for, with the gelée interval. Okay, um, the next uh, way, if we uh, want to um, apply our energy uh, principle in this case, we can use the so-called uh, Darbu theorem that any Poisson B vector may be obtained from the uh, canonical Poisson B vector using some uh, Lie derivatives along some vector fields. Uh, so in this theory we have two uh, collection of the uh, vector fields. First uh, collection is the standard Hamiltonian vector fields, PDH, associated with the different Morse functions. And we have another collection of the vector fields associated with the deformations of our uh, Poisson D vectors. Of course, we uh, can suppose that, uh, that, that there are some uh, relations between uh, these two collections, but this theory uh, is uh, completely new and we have not time in order to uh, discuss it. Let us consider some uh, concrete examples. As a concrete examples, we will consider so-called uh, LR systems, which was uh, proposed by V. Silov and V. Silov. Uh, in this case, we have some standard Euler equations with some additional terms where lambda is some uh, Lagrange uh, multipliers which we have to uh, define from the uh, some physical uh, non-holonomic constraints. In this case, uh, the invariant measure is some square from determinant of some matrix uh, depending only on positions. And, uh, and we can prove that all known examples of such LR systems may be obtained using very simple de formations of the standard Poisson brackets. Let us consider some standard space, some standard space with a standard Poisson B vector, uh, with a standard Liouville form, with a standard symplectic form, and so on. And on this space we uh, consider some uh, standard Hamiltonian equations of motion. And then we, we want to deform these equations by adding here some additional terms. How we can do it? Let us uh, simply, simply rescale our momentum by using some function. In this case, we get the non standard. Uh, Poisson brackets which depend on some some function. In this case, uh, the corresponding vector field in the formation are so-called uh, modular vector field uh, because in this case uh, our our 
volume form has the following. Uh, here we have the same uh, function g in the power minus n. Uh, using these brackets, we can consider uh, another Hamiltonian equations which have uh, which we we can consider as some intermediate de formation of our initial Hamiltonian points. Then, of course, we can apply some uh, change of the time. Let us make the following change of the time, and as a result, we have the same equation as for the LR Vesilova system. We shift the, the second part of the equations on some additional term uh, which linearly depends on momentum. Uh, we can we have to say that uh, this is only some mathematical game. Of course, we cannot get any physical systems here uh, because usually there's uh, Lagrange multiplier are uh, defined on the whole phase space, not on the reduced phase space. Here we have equations on the small reduced phase space, and of course we cannot uh, recover real physical system from this mathematical equations. But of course we can e identify our e equations with known uh, physical models. For, for instance, we can consider the well-known, ah, sorry, uh, okay, we have these equations on some cotangent um, bumpers, but Vesilova systems are defined on the Lie groups. Uh, but of course we can get uh, such systems from this by using the standard uh, momentum map. For instance, uh, let us uh, consider two dimensional sphere. Uh, in this case, we can introduce the standard angular momentum as a vector uh, product, and in this case, uh, we get such non trivial Poisson brackets on the Lie algebra E3. Uh, and the different uh, values of our function G, we will get uh, the uh, Chaplikin ball, the Rouse sphere, and so on. Okay. Let us consider the standard uh, Chaplikin ball. We have the uh, non polynomial uh, condition on the uh, big uh, phase space and of course we cannot uh, reproduce this uh, this uh, condition from our mathematical equations of motion but if we oh the se the second uh, system will be the same uh, triple ball over the sphere in this case on the uh, whole phase space we have the following system of the equations. Here, uh, v is a uh, is a velocity of the center of mass. Omega is a uh, angular velocity m mass, and, uh, and lambda is a uh, Lagrange mu mu multiplier. We can calculate this. Uh, this lambda from our non polynomial uh, constraint, and we get the following reduced equations of motion. Namely, these reduced equations of uh, motion we can uh, get from our uh, mathematical games. I have to uh, repeat that we can get only reduced equations and we cannot um, get real physical 
system in this approach. Okay, uh, here we have uh, these equations have three integrals in any values of parameter kappa and invariant measure. Uh, it is well known that it is special to cases associated with the uh, Chepligin and uh, Borisov, Mamaev and uh, Fedorov names. We have additional uh, force integral of motion. We can easily find the uh, Poisson brackets in which our equations of motion tell have uh, conformally high Miltonian uh, form and of course there's Poisson brackets may be associated with a uh, modular vector field and momentum map. Okay, now let us... Uh, but uh, our mathematical language allows us to get some new uh, Result for for instance, we simply uh, multiply our one form on the function g. It mean it means that we have very trivial the formation of the uh, canonical Poisson brackets on the sphere. It means that we have some uh, transformation which reduce uh, the deformed Poisson. Uh, brackets to canonical one. So we can we can easily get such uh, transformation, and we can prove that that non-holonomic uh, Chaplin uh, sphere uh, problem is completely equivalent to the motion particle on the sphere with the standard Poisson brackets, but with a very strange ha. Miltonian, which we can uh, uh, consider as a motion particle on the sphere in the some magnetic field, uh, because here we have term proportional to the momentum. But uh, uh, I have to uh, repeat that for the Hamiltonian system we have a very huge theory, and we can apply all this theory in order to study non-holonomic Chaplin uh, ball. Uh, the next result. Let us consider the Silova system. The Silova system. Uh, as above, we have equations of motion. We can eliminate this uh, uh, multiplier and get uh, some conformally Newtonian system with force integrals of motion and this invariant May. Uh, it look like, it uh, looks like uh, Chaplin ball, but we cannot uh, identify these systems. But uh, if we uh, calculate the, po the Poisson bracket, in this case uh, the corresponding Poisson brackets have the following form, and we can see that uh, uh, we can reduce this new brackets to the uh, standard uh, Poisson bracket associated with a uh, modular uh, vector field and uh, momentum map. What it means? It means if we take the following uh, transformation of the variables, this uh, uh, transformation uh, is Invertible uh, in the in the region uh, where we have our invariant measure. Okay, and it, it is easy to see that in these variables, if we uh, take the following uh, change of uh, parameters, we can identify this lower system with the. Uh, Chaplin ball. So uh, it is some new, some result. 
And so we have any uh, non holonomic system which is different from the non holonomic Jacobian ball on E3. Okay. Now let us consider a motion of the ball over the sphere. If we rewrite our uh, Poisson B vector in the Chaplin case, we can see that this matrix has a such very interesting structure. For the Borisov Mamayev Fedorov system, the corresponding Poisson B vector has a similar form, but in contrast with the previous example, we can see that our initial vector field is uh, defined not only by mechanical energy, but and with, uh, with the help of square of momentum, which is the second integral of, of motion. So for this system, we can see that our energy, energy principle doesn't work. We have to use both integrals of motion in order to identify our initial vector fields with the Hamiltonian vector fields. The similar uh, result uh, was obtained by Mamayev, uh, Borisov, and Diyaev for, uh, for the route sphere 2. So we have two uh, systems which, uh, which are in uh, contradiction with our standard energy principle. I think it's enough. Thank you very much. Questions? Yeah. Uh, on this slide 15, where the, uh, the integrals are mentioned on the Chaplin ball of a sphere, uh, there are three integrals. And what about the analog of the J? Uh, one more. Is it a, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one more. It, it, is, it is like a general thing to go. Yeah, yeah I, I don't like this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I almost have a question, but it's poorly formed, so I'll ask you later. Does anyone else? Yes. Maybe we missed some important because we didn't see twice the department. Two last slides. Okay. Well, last slide uh, is uh, some some error because I think that uh, this uh, obstruction of the uh, energy. Principle may be, may be related with the non triviality of uh, the Poisson deformation, with such deformation for the Parisov, Mamayev, and Fyodorov system. Uh, uh, but uh, in the uh, very recent uh, results by uh, Parisov, Mamayev, and B. Zayev, we can see that uh, the there is trivial the formation, but uh, the energy principle doesn't work. <laughs> so it it was my my error. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I have a question, only peripheral to your talk, but it's more for the audience than it is for you. Is that okay? Yeah. So several people here seem to know about Chapter and Sphere. And I learned recently that bowling balls have the center of mass at the center of the sphere, but they put in a little cross pieces of metal to make the moments of inertia not equal. So I think they go to trouble to make a bowling ball exactly a chapel of the sphere. But the question is, does anybody, are they, is this, is this a nonsense that they're doing, or is there a reason for it? It's or, good to, to go away from the pins. Well, that's what they say, but the question is, is, that, is, it, is, it, is it real thing, or is it, okay. It helps to lose. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you mean, is Chaplin in Polo real or not? No, I, 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 I know something about bicycles, and I know what everybody says about bicycles, and I know that, I know that what everybody says is wrong. 
I know that, right? So if I hear, if they say the bowling ball do this, and here's the reason for it, that doesn't mean that somebody actually sat down and, and sees if it makes sense or not. Well, I think oh. that it is, it is no use to learn this to play ball. That's right. Better. better to practice bowling with whatever might, ball you have, right? Well, in my opinion, it is uh, some kind of mathematical games only. What you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my question is for people who know without any relations with the <laughs> real life. Prefer the direction that they would be on. So you, you, if you are good enough, you could do your math, and then you imitate it for him. But then uh, I don't think you can find anyone that is good at the two trades. But does there exist yeah. math that substantiates? What the bowling ball manufacturers do that's my based on their inherent <laughs> pressure. I know there's a folklore, but does anybody? I think the number of people who understand the ball in the world, the majority of them are probably in this room now. Oh, and, and you, you know, there is a lot of range. Uh, people study the ball with friction and with, with gliding, so it is much more real. And uh, if you do some uh, spherical robot which is controlled inside, uh, it is. It may be easy to put a center of mass to the ge geometrical center, but it is not very easy to make the momentum of inertia equal. So it, it is uh, more to, to expect uh, that, that they will be not, not equal. In so, fact, so, uh, we have some real uh, sphere, uh, sphere robot, and I think that Professor Pavel Lovsky can <laughs> Uh, can show us this robot, <laughs> real robot, uh, spherical and so on, <laughs> with the friction and, uh, and so on. <laughs> if I understood correctly, there was an instance in which you had a Hamiltonian system to which you added monomic constraints. Yeah. And you obtained a, a, a representation, well, maybe, I'm, maybe it's inaccurate, but you have the example in which you got a canonical Poisson structure with an unusual Hamiltonian function with a reduced system. I assume there are other examples in which uh, you could construct a reduced system with a non-canonical Poisson structure and a problem. So what can you say what was special about systems that possess Canonical reduced structures, perhaps with strange Hamiltonian structures, or Hamiltonian functions. Uh, what what led uh, to the canonical uh, reduced if we have canonical Poisson structure? We can uh, geometrically uh, quantize these yeah. structures. Yeah. We cannot uh, we cannot uh, quantize non-canonical Poisson structures. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Maybe it will be interesting, <laughs> but I don't know what means uh, the quantum. <laughs> so I'm reminded of things like the, the Dirac method for constructing Poisson brackets and so forth. And so you know, when you realize a canonical structure, it means that the Dirac I didn't is say zero. about it, but in fact, we can consider the same equations as not uh, as not uh, non-polynomic systems, but systems in the magnetic field. Yeah. We can uh, uh, say that there's lambda. Is there some uh, forces associated this lambda? Yes. Some forces are so created with a magnetic field uh, because there's, there's lambdas are linear functions in most metrics. Yeah. Linear functions, and therefore, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, we can try to uh, uh, quantize this magnetic field. <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone, for talking. And I guess we reconvene at 10 tomorrow.